hello Gemini's and welcome to Gemini Soul. I'm sure y'all tapped on it when y'all seen Gemini had a chit chat going on for y'all Gemini's. I know y'all ain't seen me in a while. I hope all you guys are doing great. Thank you for all your support. Um, I'm just going to give y'all some of the channel messages. First thing I want to pop out is purpose. Okay, and that definitely goes with these channel messages that I was getting for you guys as I was sitting in the energy and guided to do this reading. I'm going to clear the energy a little bit because anytime we do a chit chat, everybody wants to check in and see what Gemini's chit chat is all about. Just people, you know, want to know probably what's going on with you. And you here because you want to talk about or hear about what's actually going on. Some guidance you may need, all right? This may not resonate with all of you guys. If it does, definitely give your girl a thumbs up to help support the channel. Uh, so, guys, I was hearing like some of us Gemini, some of you, are having some identity issues. Identifying who it is you are or who you want to be. Um, some of you, again, purpose came out. You're trying to figure out what your purpose is. What it is that you're supposed to be doing at this time. Some of you trying to figure out um, in careers, what you actually want to do, what direction you want to go in. I'm seeing the two of swords, decisions that needs to be made. Some of you for forced to make a decision between two things in your life. Now, it could definitely be uh, a job. You could have a choice between two jobs. Some of you have been doing a job so long that you're really thinking about changing, doing something different. You don't feel the same way that you used to. Uh, I just heard some of you pray for maybe even a higher position in, in your job, uh, supervisor, manager, CEO, uh, regional managers, anything that above, I would say, maybe a regular hourly employee, okay? Most Geminis anyway are in control or gets into a position anywhere at their job where they grow. The opportunity is always presented to, to them. You got loneliness here. Um... And maybe this job, you're lonely. Maybe there's a job that takes up so much of your time that you're not able to focus on your love life, your family, the things you really want to do because it takes a lot of your time. Some of you have been so caught up in the financial situation of your life. Maybe you've built a lot. Uh, this job brings in a nice income. And you're like, at the end of the day, what will I do if I don't have this type of job or this amount of income coming in? Because, you know, you've built a life up. You got probably homes, cards, accounts, savings, and your. But I feel that whatever this is, you've been doing it for quite some time. Even if you are not in that position yet of a man, some of you, though, some of you. There's a great opportunity coming for you to step up. And you feel like if you do take this on, you know it comes with a lot of responsibilities, Gemini. And it may change your life a little bit. And you got to make a decision on that. Like some of you growing up. So I don't know which group this is for. Everybody is on different timelines. Some of you growing up. And some of you didn't grow up. And you just like, you want things to change. And I feel like a lot of Gemini's now just trying to figure out what it is they truly want. Maybe even who they want to be with. If they actually want a relationship. Some of you in a relationship and you like, time out for this. <laughs> this is what I heard. There's a relationship that you may have been in for quite some time and you outgrew it. You outgrew the relationship. You outgrew this situation. I don't feel that like you don't care for this person or love this person, but it's just like you want change. You want something different. Some of you may want to just be by yourself. With the loneliness card, 
coming out. Some of you in a relationship and you still feel lonely. You still feel like that's not the one. Or you have starting to recognize that there's something not fulfilled in your life that doesn't feel good. And loneliness is not it's like you're sitting in a corner, quiet, and nothing else. It's like something's just not being fulfilled in your heart, okay? And you may not even really know truly what you want when it comes to a relationship right now because I feel like some of you are struggling with the fact of commitment and then doing you. This is what I'm hearing. Like, my purpose is to be happy. Maybe that's the purpose, right? Or maybe you don't know that that's your purpose, that this is your time to be happy. This is your time to release things that no longer serve you, go through a transformation, really change some things. I'm hearing some of you are going through changes within yourself. You may be having sleepless nights because you could be having some anxiety, right? Gratitude wanted to come out. I feel the gratitude is you're so thankful for what you have, how far you've come, even situations that you have overcome. Some of you may even feel like, am I like doing too much? Because you've been blessed with so much, you've been protected. Um, doors has opened for you, opportunities time after time. When you thought that you was down, you was really up. With gratitude, I also feel like the universe is saying, be appreciative of who you are and where you are now. Appreciate what it is that you want. Now, it's okay to change your mind. And hey, I'm hearing this. Like, I'm not saying like, you don't want to be a boss, but you may be saying, I don't want to be a boss anymore. I, you know, I've been boss for so long, right? Maybe people see you as a boss. They don't know how much effort, time went into to get where you are, to be recognized and respected of being a boss. Now you do, Gemini, I know, you do appreciate uh, when someone recognizes the efforts that you put in to a situation and they respect you for that. You respect yourself for it too, to a certain extent. Sometimes, Gemini, you just feel certain things is a given to you because you're a Gemini, okay? Where one Gemini can't come up with a solution, the other Gemini is always focusing on the next best thing. Okay, yeah, we've been known to sometimes start things, really get into it and master it and move on. We do that sometimes with relationship and people too. Um, and you may be there where you feel like you have mastered something and now you need to do something different. Now you need to show up different. Maybe you need, I don't know. I feel like some of you Gemini's just feel like I just need a freaking change in my life. People, places, or things. A lot of it is starting though within you. It's because it's something that you're feeling within yourself that it is either time for a change or you feel a change coming. And this change could just definitely be from the universe that your timelines are changing, that you're about to leave one timeline to the next. You may even feel that you're in a void right now. Like you're not clear on everything. Like some things are showing up and they're beautiful and um, it could be very positive for your life or for you at this time. But then I also feel there's a strong possibility that there's like something in your life that you're very much connected to and you and you like, but if I let this go, who will I be? That's that identity. Something you've been holding on to could have been for quite some time. Again, it could have been a job of people who've known you, say you as a lawyer, or they've known you as a doctor or a nurse or whatever your job position is. Some of you've been in a position for so long that people know you as that person. 
and I think you want to change. You want to do something different, but the thing is, you want the same game. You still want that same respect, but you want something more fulfilling, maybe something new, like a change in your life. I feel some of your attitudes are changing, where you had a lot of struggles with the way people say you show up. For some time, you really cared about that. You really cared about how you show up. And when people say little negative things, you go within and you actually started looking to see if you seen what they seen. Some people you got to forgive. That forgiveness here. And then you got empathy. I feel the forgiveness is not so much of forgiving other people. Some of you have been on a journey for quite some time because there was a point you felt you had to prove. Maybe you want to be like your father. Maybe you want to be like your mother. Maybe you wanted to be this very independent, single person to show people that this is how it can be done. Maybe you was connected in a marriage or relationship and you want to show them that, you know, you could have love and relationships and family and have it all. Okay, and not saying you didn't have it, and you probably probably enjoyed the journey, but I feel like you could have mastered it by now. Like all that's great. Having nice income, being stable, being respected. It's like all that's good, but what you need to really understand, Gemini. You may have really thought that you were doing that for other reasons. And maybe you're thinking about it. Maybe you're spending time meditating, jotting down, I'm seeing, writing things down. But the reason why you've done a lot of that, it was because it was on your journey. It was your growth. Do not let people make you feel or think that you are someone because of someone else. Because guess who did the work? I don't care if it was your mother. I don't care if it was your father. It doesn't matter who did the work, right? It, 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 they didn't do the work for you, right? So that was part of your journey, part of your past, part of your learning, part of your growing, okay? With empathy here, I feel that you may be at a point that you, I'm sorry, but this is what I'm hearing, don't care. I don't care how people see me anymore. I don't care what their decisions are when it comes to my happiness. Like, you either with me or against me. This is the way I'm feeling. Like, you're at the point now that you can no longer carry the burdens of hoping someone see you or validate you in a certain way. Your spirit, guys, validates you every day. You should be looking in the mirror, validating yourself every day. Hey, Gemini. Hey, Gemini. Okay? This is just, I don't know. This is what I'm feeling like needs to. Then we got judgment under the bottom. We're going to get some terror out here. But before that, I'm going to get some animal spirit. Because we need to see what the spirit needs you to what kind of animal spirit you need to encounter or and uh, what, what well I would say encounter are the outsiders, right? These are uh, the energies that you need to encounter in order for you to understand where you are. Now these could be angel guides, ancestors, passed on loved ones, or just people in your life um, that's coming forth with this new timeline. Gemini's, I just feel so many of us are now on this new timeline, and if not, you're about to be. So the confusion is all about who do you want to be now? I feel like you have a choice. You have options of who it is that you want to be. You have choice. Look at here. See? The dolphin. You want to be around people with free spirit, loving, caring, joy, fun. I told you, some of you are sick and tired of your everyday. 
it's not, and you're not so sick and tired that my life is a mess. No, no, your life's not a mess. You're sick and tired of routine. That's what it is. You're sick and tired of showing up for everyone, even when you don't want to. You sick, you don't feel good. Uh, your, your anxiety's acting up. We all human, okay? Is somewhere else you'd rather be than there? Showing up for people just because they call on you and they need you and they're used to your energy and you're free. This is also a Gemini. So you could this is just be your other side wanting to get loose and wild and accept life as it go and not always having to plan it out and have a plan. Like also, if something feels good, you're just ready to go. This feels good. I'm going to go in this direction. Us as Geminis, we always have to talk to the other, right? We got to come up with a plan. Sometimes we come up with a plan and we act on it and we do it. And then we get bored and tired of it and it's thrown to the side. Or we halfway in and it's like, no, this is not what I want. That's just who you are, Gemini. You have to accept that. But let me tell you something. This dolphin represents happiness, something true to your heart that actually brings a smile to your face, joy to you. And rather people accept what it is that makes you smile, like you could laugh at jokes that other people don't find funny. We don't care, right? It's what makes your heart happy. Whatever humors you, whatever comedy is for you, is what you need to be focusing on. No fake laughing. Stop it. This is what I hear, fake laughing. <laughs> Just because you don't want to hurt somebody feeling empathy. Showing up for people when you know there's something you need to be working on yourself. Yes, party and joy and have a good time. But I'm also hearing, Gemini, you can do that. Well, how do you feel when it's over? When the party's over, the drinking's over, whatever you use for recreation. When it's over, how do you feel? Can you feel happy and proud of where you are? Without having to feel like you have to show up for everyone else in a happy manner. Like a poker face. Or I don't wear my problems on my sleeve. My heart on my sleeve. Yeah, somebody hurt you and you're getting over it. But they'll never know. Because you're happy. You're smiling. You're career driven. You get up. You go every day. A lot of times, right, nine of swords is us, we're in our head. We'll take that crap to sleep with us. We'll sleep with our own problems before we'll let someone else see them. The universe is saying it's time to be free. And these are the energies that needs to be around you. I asked about the outside energies. So if you got somebody mean mugging you all the time, angry, stress, problems, you're going to have to forgive yourself because guess what you got to do? You can have empathy for these people or situations, but your timeline is changing. You could be known as a healer too, Gemini. People you go into their life and you change things and you help them and they get on their feet. And right, we do that. And they love being around us. And we give them a helping hand, whether it's mentally, physically, emotionally, right? We got certain things that we do to make people feel good. Yeah, I know some of y'all Gemini's. <laughs> And this is this ain't for all of you. Take it where it resonates. You know you didn't want to be with that person. But you felt that, hey, I'm going to show up for him. I'll be there. This could have been a person that did something to you that hurt you, backstabbed you, found out about it later, whatever. 
I just happen to see this lion card is in reverse, Leo. Or strength is in reverse. Could be. Could have dealt with a fire sign. Don't have to be a Leo. Um, but you know, even when people have disappointed you, And you shouldn't have been strong and still showed up. Like, sometimes you have to tell people goodbye. They're not meant to be in your life. And sometimes you were not strong enough. With this strength card and reverse the lion, you were not standing in your power. You were there helping others. And you was putting yourself aside, not paying attention to the details of what it is you needed for you. That's over. So no more. I feel. That. Where you felt you went wrong with certain situations. you're going to start to realize that there's a strong change coming. And this change is going to have people looking at you differently. And where they thought you were weak, you're going to be very strong and powerful. And that's because you're after something now. And that's joy and happiness and peace. Now, yes... It's a lot of you is like, I don't know if I can turn, you know, with the strength card in reverse. I don't know if I have the strength to turn my back on this long term relationship or this best friend or this father or dad. And I'm not saying you turn the back where you're not there, but you turn the back where you realize it's your time. And that you may be the cause of them for quite some time handicapping them. Or you went in and you did what the universe needed you to do. Show up. Judgment. But now there's a judgment call I feel being made on some things where you showed up for people and now they're not showing up for you. Gemini, they're not showing up for you because they figured you're strong enough. Like you showed up for me. Why do I need to show up for you? Why do I need to be there for you? Why do I need to support you? Yeah, probably so. But maybe... Well, then, since it seemed that way, that wouldn't be an equal relationship, friendship, would it? And I feel that you're seeing things now. And where you thought, oh, yeah, you're going to show up just acting a complete fool in some cases. Like, some of you just going to show up and be like, this is me. Take it or leave it. And the moment that, look. A lot of them are go in the hiding and just watch it. A lot of them in hiding right now, the raccoon. They just in hiding and watch it like, what the hell is Gemini doing? But they all in the shadows. You can't see them. They so dark. At least they think you don't see them. But you know what the thing is, Gemini? You don't give a shit. You don't care. They can stay in the shadows. That's the dark side. And that ain't where you try to be. Okay? You trying to be out. Enjoying life, living life, taking this new timeline, trying to figure out what it is needs to go on in your life. And some of you, Gemini, have been in hiding and you're sick and tired of it. You're like, I've been in hiding, I've been healing some of you. Some of you just realize you can't trust people, even the people that you put your trust in are not there. That you've made so many decisions when it came to other people and situations around you and you're, you, you you realize you were disappointed. It didn't turn out the way you wanted. You put time and energy in it. And people talk about Gemini's walk away. They don't finish what they, you're not worth it. This is you finally seeing certain situations ain't worth it, Gemini. Only put your energy and trust and respect in what's worth it that makes you feel good. Makes you know who you are. We got the fox card came out. 
Y'all, this is going to be a long chit chat. Well, this is a Fox card came out, so y'all might as well get you some water if you're interested. And this, any of this is resonating, grab you some water. I don't know, whatever you do, okay? A glass of wine, whatever. But guess what? This is a Gemini card. You're just coming out completely in this reading. Because to me, the Gemini, it's the fox, and it's the whale. This is the flow of energy within you. This fox is a plan, is a master. How do they say it? The master of many? Y'all know what that saying is. I can't get it right now. But the point is, Whatever you want in your life, your happiness, your joy, commitment, family, friends, a new life. Accept this timeline. There's joy, there's happiness coming for you. If you have been in the shadows, you are coming out. The difference is when you come out, Gemini, of these shadows, people are not going to know who you are. Some of people don't think that you're up to something. You're holding some back. You're not telling them. Only thing you're not telling them is that if you ain't a part of my happiness and my peace, you can't be a part of my life. That's it. That's the only sneaky thing this fox is doing. That's the only sneaky thing this fox is telling you. I'm going to work around you because I'm after something else. And I'm sick and tired of playing this little game. Of me healing and being there and helping people get where they need to get. And then I'm left broken. Not really broken, Gemini. Some just broken, you discard it. You discard it, get rid of it, throw it away, it can't be fixed. Gemini, you always can be fixed. It's the reason why you're duality. Okay? You may have messed up one part of me, but I still got another part, and it's strong. And it gets stronger with every disappointment, with every disrespectful moment, with every wrong decision I make, <laughs> with every right decision I make. Definitely with every right decision you make, Gemini, you get stronger. Gemini, I feel you have a lot of responsibilities and you've carried a lot of responsibilities. Some of you have family You've carried the responsibility of your weight of the family for quite some time. Some of you have best friends that's been friends with you forever. And you know they toxic. You know you should just release them. You, some of the stuff they do, you feel they do it to themselves. and But you see them fall time and time again because they know you're there. Some of you are in relationships where you you... You always seem to go back, even if it's not to the point where just say you're actually intimate with this person. You always go back for support, but you keep forgetting why you left in the first place. You don't need that. You don't have to have that circle like that, Gemini. Your circle can be small. And I know a lot of people say, Gemini has a huge circle. But everybody in that circle ain't even for you, Gemini. They're not there for you. They're there for what you offer. Your time. Your love. Your energy. Your spirit. That go-getter attitude. Investments prosperity, abundance, they, they know you got that. You got it. And some of you been struggling probably lately with your abundance situation of really getting it balanced. And all it takes is you to focus on your happiness and your strategy for you. Guaranteed things going to change for you. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Okay. Yeah, I got it. And we got the star card. You are a star, Gemini. This is healing. This is people seeing you healing. And show up and be the person you actually are. No more downplaying. If you're happy, be freaking happy. If something disappoints you and you're not happy with it, 
is disrespectful. It's not right. I'm not going to tell Gemini to snap off because <laughs> Gemini, I you know, I, you know, we've been told our mouth is pretty sharp. Just release it. Just release it. Release them and move on. Work on that. That's what some of you need to. Because this star card represents your place in the universe. And you amongst many stars. So stop selling for less. Shoot for the stars. Shoot for those that understand about love and success and joy and abundance. And who are very grateful to have you in their life. Ones that will be there for you too. I'm also hearing like Gemini, some healing needs to happen. And it's healing within your own heart and soul. You may even be struggling and going through a, a, a phase where you was there was for someone. And now all of a sudden, you know, things changed in their life. And maybe they're higher up or higher up the chain or they're doing great. And they don't recognize what you brought. And you may never be recognized for that. You may never be recognized for someone else being great right now. And I'm not saying you put them there, Gemini. What I'm saying is them interacting with you. Heal them to a space and spot in their life where they were able to get up and try again. And by them being able to do that, just knowing and being in your energy was able to help. Whether they recognize it or not, your energy is always healing. But now you need to use that energy on yourself. Focus on you for healing. Focus on you for happiness and joy and your wish fulfillment. Some of you have been living your wish fulfillment for quite some time and didn't even recognize it because you were so entwined with everybody else's. And now you need to focus on you. That's how I feel. It may not resonate with all you women. Let's get some tarot and I'm about to close this out, guys. This is just a quick chick chat. And I'm just seeing a nine of pentacles. Some of you so abundant and nourishing and caring. It's ridiculous. It's sickening to people. Like they feel like <laughs> the nine of pentacles, they feel like you've had it all. Some of you are nourishing someone that someone else wanted in their life. They couldn't get them to turn around like that, but they got with you, Gemini. <laughs> and they just like, really? How did you change that person? How do you have that person like that? That Gemini energy. <laughs> Who's that Gemini? It's that spiritual healing. That's what I'm hearing. Someone outside of you, this ain't going to resonate with all. And if it's not a relationship, it's someone you took under your wing, Gemini. Ooh. <laughs> Just... Three of Wands in reverse. No longer waiting on the decisions. Right? No more waiting on your ships to come in because they're already there. So stop waiting. Look around you and realize that the choice that you're constantly in your head about making that is Gemini. You have it. It's within you. Your heart, your mind, your soul. Stop waiting for something you already have. If, if you're trying to wait on somebody to validate you, or see you in a certain light. I hear some of you, maybe even, really? Yeah, I know this ain't going to be for all Gemini. Waiting on a proposal? Waiting on someone to come back? They ain't meant to come back. They don't even deserve you. Okay? Whatever it is that is meant for you, the wait is over. So whatever comes to you now, Gemini, that's what you focus on. No more waiting for something to return. Whatever is for you is here and now. This is the three of wands in reverse. Your ships will come in. Your manifestations come in. 
your new power, your new timeline. This is what I'm hearing. It has come in. It's here. Now, you have the high priestess. So, you're waiting for something that you already know. It's not even a secret anymore. Not a secret to you. And if something was a secret, you know different. You already know the answers to the question you seek. Six of Cups, there's something about the past. And you got to let it go. No, it can't come with you. Six of Swords, time to move on. Time to move on to calmer waters, peaceful, joy, happiness. Those choppy waters are done. That's your choice. This is a choice. If it's a commitment, this is a choice to be happy. There's a choice to be in love. There's a choice to be in a commitment. There's a choice to make a choice for your higher good. If you want love and you want a committed relationship, it's in your life already. But it's a choice to go ahead and give it a chance and work with it. It's protected by the divine. It's a love like you've never known. Now, this could be you. This could be all you, Gemini. That you're loving yourself and you're confused. Gemini, okay, I got two things here. You're confused because you've never felt this way before. Now, rather this is a relationship and you're afraid. Because every time you build up yourself and others in a relationship, you feel like you have to start over because it doesn't work. Yeah, you had lessons to learn there. They, they were only meant there for a season, for a reason. Some of you got someone in your life right now, and this is true love. This is a true commitment, divinely sent. This, this lover is yours. This is your lover you can respect, trust, gets you, listens, hears, understands. And I'm hearing chooses you. The other thing that I'm hearing is this is a side of you that has finally hit the surface. That has let this ten of swords die. Has healed. All the disappointments, understand the disappointments, but it's a choice to heal. It was a choice. The lovers will represent a choice to let go the past, to let go the disappointments, to let go the third parties, to let go, go of feeling like I never seem to be able to get ahead that people are betraying me. No more betrayal here. And that's a choice. Choose to be happy, Gemini, and you'll see. Choose this mate, this partner. You've healed. And you're strong enough for it. You have the strength card in reverse. It's because you fear it. And sometimes, like, I'm just tired. I can't keep doing this over and over and over. But we all know sometimes love take practice. And the practice is because then you have to know how you want somebody to truly love you. And how will you truly love? So it takes practice. I'm not saying it's easy or it's right. But we on this earth to live. So all that practice, <laughs> whether it's you. All the practice, you've learned the lessons, and now you know what you want, what you're not going to settle for, you're not going to go for less than, then this is you saying, I let all that go, all those lessons I learned, and I forgive you. But I forgive me first, because I promise you, <laughs> we ain't doing that no more. The moment that you even 
I don't even think you're going to be. It's Ten of Swords is the end. Ace of Swords is seeing the truth. Okay? That you're not even finna encounter it in a way that you have encountered it in the past. If anything show up deceptive, it is not going to affect you the way that it have in the past because you're stronger now. And you're going to know when to get in and when to, what? When to fold. <laughs> this is what I'm hearing. Right? And look at this. Five of Wands under the bottom. There's no... Look, I told you, not going to encounter any conflict. Because the moment you walk in and it looks like there's trouble and paradise or they want to act like it. Like, you're not going to fight for nobody's love anymore. You either love me Show up for me, respect me, and be there. Or are we done? There's no conflict. There's no fighting. You, you don't accept that anymore, Gemini. Those lessons has been learned. I can't help but feel, Gemini, that when it comes to having It's, and then it's communication. Eight of Wands. So it's quick movement. Someone may be coming in to apologize to you. Because now you got the strength card and you got the... Um, and it don't have to be Leo. It could be a fire sign. It could be anybody, okay? But maybe this is just somebody who don't deal with conflict and they're strong as heck. And they coming in to make this offer. Could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And they want a fresh new start, a new beginning. And this is someone that doesn't bring conflict with them. And they're very strong. And they want to make an offer to you. Or it could be you want to make an offer to them. Then you have the Eight of Wands. Y'all, I said this was going to be it, but... Yeah, I know sometimes. That's why when you don't get a message, it's okay. Because when the spirit wants you to get one, you will get it. Okay? All right. Let's close it out. <laughs> this is what we're closing out with. Mm -mm -mm. We got the Queen of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and the Four of Wands. This is clearly Accepting the truth of what you've walked away from that was not stable. Seeing the truth in situation, people, places, and things. Families, home, relationships. The Eight of Cups, what you walked away from and why you walked away from it. Seeing the truth in everything that you've done that led you up to this moment of choosing you. You've walked away from a home, a full-fledged family, a marriage, a job, a stable situation. Eight of Cups, you walked away. Why? Because you wanted the Nine of Cups. A wish fulfillment. But this is you seeing the truth. And all the things that... Yeah, you know, with the Eight of Cups, you got Two of Cups in there. It was situations you thought would be balanced. You could work it out. You could figure it out. It would work out. Two of Cups, no. You had the Three of Cups. Some of you had third parties. There are situations going on, situations, I'm going to say. Some of you just was with them for joy and happiness. You had a person for every day, right? I mean, because these people that you had, they were with you for certain reasons too, right? Four cups, disappointing times, but you didn't see it. Were you seeing it? You just ignored it. Then you had the five of cups where you had to get back up and stand on your feet and do this crap again emotionally mm -hmm. after a loss. Having to rebuild after they left or you helped build, whatever. Then you had the six of cups. Nostalgia, wanting to go back, keep them in your life, have that little time with them. They offered something so you go back. Seven of Cups, you realize there are so many other options out there. But you wasn't quite sure. Foggy mind, confused. 
and then you got to the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups said, there's nothing left in those cups behind me. I only got one direction to go now, and that's forward to my Nine of Cups, my wish fulfillment, Ten of Cups, my happiness, and you're on your way. Because the first thing is denial. Facing it, understanding, and seeing it for what it is. Some of you are going to leave a whole foundation, a whole family. Some of you are going to leave a job. Some of you are going to relocate. Um, but there's happiness, there's joy coming your way. Be ready for it, Gemini. This message was channeled just freestyle. And I'm just telling you what the spirits are saying. Some of you are out there and you were not clear. This message is giving you the clarity. And the clarity is that there is something you had to walk away. And if you went through all those different challenges, accept that. See the truth in it. Because now you have the strength from those lessons that you've learned. You can thank those people too. Thank them for the lessons that have learned. Because now it's making you much stronger to move forward. And now you, you're just going to think, and I'm not telling you things are never going to be an issue. What I'm saying is you got the power to handle whatever comes your way. Keep, keep your faith up. Keep checking in with Gemini. If it don't feel right, then it ain't right. If it quack like a duck, then it's a duck. <laughs> okay. I wish you all the best. I don't even know what I'm going to name this. I'm just going to name it. Gemini ain't taking no mess moving forward. Because Gemini got one thing on their mind. And that's being happy. And if that's in a relationship, a committed relationship. If it's being by yourself. Whatever it is that the spirit guides, the universe has for you. That's that timeline. Gemini, I wish you all the best. If anything resonates, give me a thumbs up, guys. Share it with any other Geminis you might need to hear it from. Definitely comment below, guys. I have missed you guys. Um, and I'm going to do a chit-chat Gemini Cancer Cuss, so be looking for that one. And I'll talk to you guys real soon. Love and light. Bye.